Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Razor Ramon, Oozing Machismo. Uh, so we have a new Razor Scott Hall uh, in the game here. Um, he is a new gen, and he does have one gear at this time. I don't know what the boost is yet. Um, it's not showing up. So he's got the one gear here. He will have a second gear, uh, but this preview won't have it equipped, and I do not know the boost yet. Um, he is a new gen chaotic technician. He's got the new gen link uh, twice, three times. Gems do 10% more damage. And then he has the uh, oozing machismo red gear here, but we don't know what that does yet. He is a trainer. Very uh, unique new style of trainer here. At 21k, moves that cause bleed will do 50% more bleed damage. Black moves that deal damage will deal 60% more damage. Uh, really good trainer. Pretty excited about that trainer ability. Uh, so I like that. Should be a really good addition. Um, I have five build sets for you guys. Uh, before we get into those, I have this strap equipped. Um, maxed tier 4 move damage metal fury for green. And then um, also maxed uh, all gem damage tier 4. Uh, skill plate that's going to be on for the duration is the all heart. Um, whenever you generate three or more sub gems, increase your gem green gem damage by 100% for two turns and your purple gem damage by 100% for two turns. That'll be on all preview. And uh, so five movesets. This first one I'm going to do is kind of my out of the box uh, one, outside the box, a little bit different, uh, a little bit weird, uh, but it does hit really hard. It's going to feature 6 MP Bulldog, deal 74k damage and choose 8 gems to make into green. Slaps, 6 MP Purple, deal 82k damage and make 9 random purple gems into multiply gems of strength 7. Fall away Slam, 4 MP Red, deal 68k damage and make the bottom 4 rows into multiply gems of strength 4. Entourage, we are running uh, Woods for Purple and uh, Butch for Red. Uh, Scott Hall, Hall of Fame, He's everyone has him. Moves that generate green gems will create two more. For this one, I decided to put Mem Rock on. I won't use him in the other ones. So for this one, um, rare uh, kind of uh, whaley card. If you don't have Mem Rock, just throw um, Lacey on there. Green and purple gem damage 20% um, is a good sub. Otherwise, everything else is completely free to, free to play in this. And I wanted to use Mem Rock at least once. So I decided to toss it on for this preview. Or this build, rather. All right. Uh, we're going to go out here on the road um, against Randy Orton. Uh, cheap Shot is probably what I would use for this one. And uh, from the Skill Plate Prize Wall uh, Aftershock, in case you do need to recycle, likely that will not be the case. Um, so, like I said, it is kind of funky. Ideally, um, you would have more greens in the bottom four. So this isn't a great row, but we do have purples um next to the green so let's see what we can do so first we're going to make the bottom four rows they'll be times five because of um memrock keep in mind in feud you get a bonus of times two and that's why i do have the two mp trainers on uh because this is a feud ready build you could use it in feud and be turn one now we're going to make the purples into multi gems of strength eight um nine with memrock those would be 11 in feud now, I do want to try and cause this cascade right here. Because we want to get as many multiply gems to fall in as possible. So we're just going to go ahead. And then we want to get all of these times eights that we can, obviously. Uh, we're going to miss this one. I could probably do stuff to get it. But I do want to get this to drop in here and catch all those yellows for extra damage. So uh, we'll just roll with this. Got another blue. 1.4 million there. Depending on your board, you can do a lot more um, than that. And it's going to hit way harder in Feud. Uh, because not only do you get the times to multiply gems, you get 50% extra gem damage on multis as well. So anyway, that's my kind of really out of the box one of the five for this one. So I thought I would run it first. Um because I thought, you know, it's kind of cool, kind of interesting, kind of different. So, next up, 
We're going to keep double purple. And we are going to bring the finisher in. Um, which is the razor's edge. Let me reorganize this so it looks normal. So only one new move. Razor's edge finish, finisher, 10 MP green. Um, it deals 254k damage, and you choose 8 multiply gems to destroy and pin the opponent. Uh, Entourage, we're going to stick with Woods. We're going to put Matt Hardy in. I'm going to take Memrock off. You could absolutely leave him on. Um, but, you know, I want to show realistic for people that don't have rare trainers, too. So... And then we're going to stick Lacey on. And then in place of Scott Hall, we're going to go Santa Hogan for more gem damage. Um, I, you do not need the plus one MP that my Santa Hogan has. Um, not required. He was just He's just on there for the flat gem damage to all the colors. Um, you could easily go purple. Um... The purple, flat purple, uh, any percentage purples you might have. You could go green move damage if you wanted, um, etc, etc. If you happen to have a new gen um, tech 50% gem defense strap, uh, then you could go double armor and maybe toss Honky Tonk Man in there um, with this with this move set. Um, but I think like for the average uh, plates strap setup, you're definitely going to want to go double fury. Um, same sort of principle as last time. Ideally, we have a lot of purple gems on the board. Um, that's the only downside is if you don't hit purple gems on the starting board. We did get some, which is nice. Two, three matches is more than enough. Plenty of purple gems on there. So we're going to make nine into multiply gems of strength nine. Uh, in feud... Those would be times 11. And then the finisher with the move damage metal I have is hitting 540k. Then we're destroying eight of these uh, purples. Um, also, your finisher gets buffed in Feud 2. So this will be a very nice move set as well. And perform much better in Feud than you're seeing here. And it's going to hit for the tune of 1.8 million. But hit a lot harder in Feud. A lot, lot harder. Alright. Moving right along, we're going to see uh, the red moves now. And kind of a variation on what we just did, but reds instead. So that's the one thing I love about this um, poster. Is, don't find me for pro, I said poster is um super versatile like uh, you can start with a bunch of different mp trainers and builds and uh use a bunch of different trainers and coaches we're gonna bring the discus punch in and then uh we saw the fall away slam we're gonna bring it back so discus punch is the only move we haven't seen yet another four mp red deal 66k damage and increase your green mp by 10. only four mp so very nice a lot of different MP trainer options you can go with. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to go with Butch. You, of course, could use a 2 MP one um, as well. No reason not to use Butch, though. Going to keep Matt Hardy in. We're also um, going to keep Lacey in um, because she's a double trainer. And keep Santa Hogan in because he's a flat trainer to all the gems. And really... Um, we have to choose eight multis to destroy. So we're a little bit at the mercy of what's on the board. Um, again, this would be a good situation for Memrock for sure if you have him. But let's run this and see how this one looks. A nice thing about this is it's super low charge. So if you have Butch on in Feud, you probably don't have to worry too much about MP down coaches uh, and things like that. Or as much anyway. Um, we don't have a lot of green, so that's kind of a bummer. We do have at least two. And we do have at least, um, at least one red, because you want to recycle. On the plus side, we can make a really nifty cascade. That's a row break. And we're going to get a ton of extra damage from that. Because we're going to wipe out the whole bottom row. 
So keep in mind, in Feud, these would be times eight. Get the finisher bonus, also get the gem buff. So that'll wipe out the whole bottom row. I'm not really seeing a ton of other cascade options um, in the multis beyond that, but that's fine, that's a bunch. So let's take the greens and reds um, and purples. And you can see 1.9 million with that build set. Another really strong, really nice build set. It's going to hit way harder in Feud. Okay. Now on to the super sub. Everybody loves subs, right? And um, Razor has a heck of a sub. Really, really good. Uh, this is the super sub build because you can put all of the sub trainers in and coaches on. However, it will not um, recycle very well at all. So keep that in mind. Um, so it may not look very good when we run it here. It will be very good, uh, but it may not look very good. So abdominal stretch. I think this is the only move we haven't seen now. Nope, there's one other, the toothpick flip, which we'll get to. Uh, on the last build set. So abdominal, abdominal stretch, 7 MP green submission, generate 49 random sub gems and do 151k for three turns. Uh, the remaining sub gems are botch gems. So that's quite nice. We're gonna keep Butch in and then we're going all sub coaches and trainers from there since this is a super sub build. This will do 5.5 million in feud with your um, sub defensive perks maxed so if you have defensive perks max this is a 5.5 million turn one um sub damage um you see the all heart plate on there do not use that one for this build because there's you're not going to be destroying any multiply gems that should be a cheap shot i forgot to change that on this graphic so let me just you go away you go away there. <laughs> all right I'm gonna change this up on the fly there look at that So really easy to load. We just hit this, then the subs loaded, 5.5 million damage, turn one in feud. Uh, most likely they're done for, and Bob's your uncle. In this case, uh, we're only gonna do two million, so Orton's gonna have 1.9 million life left. And hopefully we have a bunch of botch gems left on the board. So he has trouble kicking out because we cannot reload this. But this is, that's the downside to this build. The nice side, it's, uh, mm. the nice thing is, is it's a super sub build. So we're only going to hit for 540k, no multiply gems to choose to destroy. Uh, hopefully Orton matches on the bottom of the board. Looking good so far, guys. Looking good so far. There you go. So that's a super sub, one click, or two clicks rather, 5.5 mil, really fast because it's random. Uh, so this one, I feel like will have a lot of legs, um, a lot of legs at uh, six star probably. It's gonna have a nice sub with some nice damage. Um, and I think this will probably be the way to go at six star. It's hard to predict those sort of things, of course. Um, so I don't know that for sure, um, but I think this moveset will probably do well there. And we're going to run triple green. Of note, for Feud, this um, the sub will be ready turn one without a, uh, a Santa Hogan with the plus one MP. The finisher won't be ready turn two unless you have Santa Hogan if you, uh, leveled up. If you don't have Santa Hogan leveled up, you'll have to do one swipe and then the finisher will be ready. If you do, however, um, then you're fine. So the move we haven't seen yet, oops, let me reorder this correct, is the toothpick flip. 
So 8 MP green, you're going to deal 109k damage and make 8 random botch gems into multiply gems of strength 10. Very, very large multis. Um, 10 right off the bat. They are going to be 12 in feud um, with the 50% gem buff. Uh, the downside is it's random, so we don't know where they're going to go. Um, and we do need to use two green MP trainers. Now, depending on the way things go with the meta, perks, things like that, might also think about switching Bruno out and doing a little bit weaker sub um, and buffing the gem damage or multiply damage further with a mem rock or some um, like a Lacey who can double your, your green um, and purple gem damage, especially since we have the all heart plate on, um, which... <clears throat> is buffing our green and purple as well. Sorry, guys. Words are hard. But we're on the fifth build, and we're only 16 minutes into this preview uh, with me changing the trainers and yapping a lot. So um, there's that. Again, for feud, for the, the, the finisher to be ready right after the sub, you do need a 17k Santa Hogan. Uh, otherwise, you'll need one swipe, then the finisher if you don't. And in place of Bruno, you could also go Memrock or any of your uh, gem damage people, preferably duels if you have them, um, because you know it's random on the board. So preferably the dual ones. All right. For now, though, we're gonna run it like this. This would be a 3.7 million in sub uh, in feud this way. So you're gonna sub for 3.7 million, and then you're gonna have the big finisher coming off behind it, if that makes sense. And hopefully it does. So we're going to hit that sub. Going to have a lot of botch gems left. Hopefully uh, we have greens and purples because of the skill plate. So yeah, you might consider no Bruno. Um, for this one too, it does add an extra turn, um, but it does also add a lot of damage in feud. So, unfortunately, we don't have many greens. We do have some purples. Uh, we want to get at least one green to recycle, and we only need one. And there's only one potential chance here out of eight or nine, and we did get it. So recycle is no problem. Sadly, we got a loot box too, but let's see how hard this hits. We didn't get any purples, so that's kind of a bummer. And it doesn't look like we can do a whole lot um, with cascading. Not that it matters, because you're destroying um, all of them that you made. So that doesn't really matter. Let's see what we hit for here. One point six million. And that's going to be much harder in feud because of the multiply perk and it'll be coming off a 3.7 million um, sub and it should recycle as long as you can hit a green but there is some risk so if you don't have an all heart you might go with something like the um, heavy machinery plate anyway that's razor uh, really strong uh, quite good uh, the six star move shows what it is but not the MP charge or how much it grows we can take a look at that real quick I think he's a fantastic tech. Uh, seems like he's gonna have a ton of options um, and they're all really good. So the one you can't see is belly to back superplex. Um, deal 6k damage, make two random greens into purples. I have no idea what the MP charge is or how much this grows to. I would guess it's a fair amount of randoms. I would say eight to nine, probably MP charge somewhere in the, in the four to seven range would also be my guess. So. Could pop possibly do some really neat stuff with this, um, depending on, on what all is there. Uh, but it is random, so I probably wouldn't use it anyway compared to the chooses and things like that. Uh, anyway, that's Razor, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully you enjoy this preview. Uh, I may end up doing, if when, if the, the gear, when it shows up, a gear preview um, that I'll use rare coaches and trainers for. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. Uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there.